Welcome to the Supercoach Experience Punting Show. The rules for this show are simple. $10 stakes, we have one bet on each game of the NRL every week. In addition, we get one best multi of the week and a best bet that is worth a $20 stake. Does that come with gravy? Nah, mate. Our profit and losses will be added up every week and the winner at the end of the season gets to choose the punishment for the loser. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Hello, welcome to the first episode of the Supercoach Experience Punting Show. I'm your host, Brandon Savage, and this is my co-host, Jack Savage. Hey, how you going? What's going on? So we are doing this punting show for the first time. There is no name. There is no objective. Actually, there is an objective. The objective is to earn as much as you can throughout the year based on bets that we actually place during the week. That's right. That's right. So what are we going to do? This is how we're going to play it. So every game, we're going to put $10 on our best bet of every game. We're going to have a best bet of the weekend, which we get to double stake for $20. And we're going to have a multi of the weekend. So we get to, we have free reign completely on what we want to do. If you want to do a $1.25 bet, be boring, do that. Um, But pretty much what we're going to do is whoever has the biggest profit at the end of the year gets to choose a punishment for the loser and the loser has to follow through with the punishment. Keen? Yeah, pretty scary, but, you know, because betting can go either way. It's, it's not – there's no tactics to it because we're not very professional with it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So this is our first, obviously, go at it. We will learn things along the way. We will get better. We might get worse, to be honest. We might we might hit a perfect weekend and then – I think we'll get worse, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I just want a quick – Rundown on your history of punting. What's your best? <laughs> no, what What is your best win on the rugby league? On the rugby league would have to be I got kick out as first, second, or third try scorer, which was only two weeks ago. It was um, two weeks ago, yeah. Yeah, that was one hundred and fifty dollars you put on that. Yeah, but that was from other winnings as well. Yeah, so. yeah, obviously not massive. And I got a thousand fifty off that. So yeah, okay, that was pretty good. Well, my one was a multi. I think in two thousand and nineteen, two thousand uh, two thousand nineteen. I think it was um, you and Aitken, Cody Walker, Matt Dufty, Alex Johnston. Yeah, in uh, the South Sydney Rabbitohs versus the St. George Illawarra Dragons, and I had the line uh, of St. George Illawarra plus 11 and a half. St. George Illawarra were losing by like 14 points, and then Tristan Saylor set up a try right at the death for Michaeli Ravalawa, and that got me over. So that's my best win. It was a multi, and I've been chasing that feeling ever since and quite haven't got there. <laughs> Actually, I, wa- I think I won a, a three-leg try score multi the next night, which was like 450 bucks. which it feels like when you win – You win good and you just keep winning, right? Because you're fearless in your punting. Yeah. With me, I don't like doing safe bets. Yeah. They're never high. I don't put much money on them. Yeah. Usually, unless I win, then I don't want to put them back on. But I don't put more than usually $10 on a bet. You like a bit of value. But I like a bit of value on the bet. All right. Uh, well, all these odds are brought to you by Picklebet. Use the code TURBO when signing up to picklebet.com.au. You can download the app on the Apple Play, uh, Apple iTunes Store or Google Play. Uh, use the code TURBO. That lets them know you're coming from our podcast. And the more people to sign up and bet with them, the better it is for us. Uh, well, for me, <laughs> Jack's not on the books yet, but maybe depends on how you go. We'll see how we go. So um, if you do like the show, please give it a thumbs up and let us know what you think. Uh, let Let's go to tonight's game, the South Sydney Rabbitohs versus the Dolphins. It is at Redcliffe. What is your best bet of the game? I've got Herbie Farnworth as <laughs> any time try scorer. <laughs> <laughs> Off to a good start. <laughs> He's paying $2.63. The bottom line. <laughs> Herbie Farnworth is also my best try scorer. Actually, oh, this is a good go. start. This is a good there start. Go. So I I jumped on him at two dollars fifty, and I'm telling you now, I've actually done these bets. I've done all of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So so it's only like ten dollars on each game, and then twenty dollars on the best bet. So Herbie Farnworth. The reason I'm going Herbie Farnworth is because I think the Rabbitohs centers are a bit shot at the moment, and he's playing on the left, um, the right side of Jacob Gagai, and. 
I'm not sure if it's Richie Kenner or Tane Milne on there, but I think defensively both of them have been quite weak. And at Cairo Stadium in Redcliffe, I think the Dolphins are going to put on a performance. Home ground advantage, so... All right, uh, moving on to the Sharks play the Tigers at points bet on Friday. I've gone, okay, so $2.50 was Herbie Farmworth for a $25 return. I've gone the Sharks for uh, the Sharks minus six and a half at $1.87. Uh, I've taken the line for the Sharks and that is an $18.70 return based off a $10 bet. What is your best bet of the game? Um, well, I've just picked all try scores. I right have, yeah. I tried, I tried to mix it up a bit. <laughs> Yeah, well, because I thought it was just all try scorers. <laughs> you, you, that's what you said the rules were. Oh, no, it's not. It's just <laughs> oh, any well, there bet. You go. Well, I've gone try scorers anyway. I've got Jesse Ramian at two dollars sixty. Nice. So if you hit, if you hit a good amount this weekend, then you'll be going sweet. Yes. So that's a twenty six dollar return for the Titans versus the Parramatta Eels. I've gone Brian Kelly anytime at two dollars sixty for a twenty six dollar return. I think um, that that's, par- that's not bad. In that yeah, one. that power right edge. Uh, you'll be playing Blaze Talungi in the centres and the new debuton of Lorenzo Mulitalo. I think they'll target that edge, and I think before it gets to the wing, Kelly's going to go over. I've gone Blaze Talungi because he's at two dollars this week. Is that because he's playing centre? Yes. Well, he usually score. He's been scoring. He scored every like week, seven so. seven weeks in a row or something. Um, um, he, he's running at Brian Kelly, who defensively is good, but his reads are not good. Yeah, I think he will go over again. Yeah, you think he would just keep the try scoring? I and, think so. And the fact that he's at two dollars, you like the value? Yeah, that's why I pretty much chose him because his value was pretty good. Awesome. Uh, for the Broncos, play the St. George or Dragons on the Saturday night. It's not a very good looking game, to be honest. No, uh, not really. I, I've gone the Broncos with the line at minus six and a half, paying a dollar ninety six for a nineteen dollar sixty return. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I've gone another try score. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Moses Suli. Moses Suli? Because his odds were pretty good and I don't like going the for sure. Run, running at Katoni Stags, yeah. I told you I don't like going to the for sure thing. Well, here's the thing: there's a thought process behind mine. Jack's going off vibe. So, what's going to win this week? Uh, what's going to win in general? I feel like that's the beauty of mm. us versing each other. This isn't advice. This is just the purpose of this show is to win. Exactly. All right. Uh, let's go to the Manly play the Newcastle Knights on Sunday afternoon. I've gone the Manly with the line, minus eight and a half at $1.96 for a $19.60 return. I've gone the line again. I've gone the try score again. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've gone Ruben Garrick at $2.38. Nice. I like that. Um, my multi of the weekend does involve Garrick. So does it? I've done a three-leg multi, which is, um, which is Tom... Tom Trebojevic, Ruben Garrick, and Lehi Hopawade anytime for seven dollars. That for a ten dollar bet, that's a seventy dollar return. All right, so I've gone a bit more obscure <laughs> <laughs> with two try scorers. So I've got Corsi out of score and Ray Fatala Mariner to score. Yeah, and Parramatta to win. Ooh, that's. At fifty five dollars, nice. With a five hundred and fifty dollar. I don't, I don't mind that because that's quite. Um, it's not many legs, so it doesn't no, take much for it to right. hit. Um, I like that. That's not your best bet. That's just your multi of the weekend, right? That's right. All right, let's go. To the best bets. You start. You go first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My best bet of the weekend, which nullifies your multi of the weekend, it is Titans to win for Feeder and Brian Kelly to score. $6.50, a $20 bet gets you $130 returned. Mm. I don't really have a best bet. I didn't really pick one. Um. I've just gone with all those. So you're going to double down on the multi? I'll double down on the multi. You'll double down on the multi. So you can use your multi as a $10 bet and you can use your multi as a $20 bet. So you've really got $30 on it. There you go. And that's $55? That's $55. You shit on mine. So if all my bets pay off, that is $70 spent 
for three hundred and eight dollars seventy return. So if just that multi hits, then mm. you've probably murdered me for the year. Well, that's the aim of the game, isn't it? Oh, so I can tell what sort of play you're going to go for. You're going to go for that Hail Mary and I'm just going to try and chip away at it. It's not usually the way I like to play. I usually like to play balls to the wall. Well, you can't play the same as the other person, then it would be pretty boring. Unless, unless, what if I fall so far behind because you hit one, then I've got to play like you. There you go. And then that's game on. And that is game on. I really hope some of us hit. Oh, looks like I got a virus on my laptop. But thank you for tuning in for the first episode of the Super Coach Experience Punting Podcast. This might be a weekly thing. I hope it is. It has to be now. Well, it has be, to be. Yeah, because definitely. we're versing each other and the loser has to do something. So thank you for tuning in. Thanks, Jack, for coming on. No worries. Thanks for having me. And thank you for the punters for tuning in. Use the code TURBO when signing up to picklebet.com.au. Make sure to know what you're really gambling with for free and confidential support. Call 1-800-858-858 or visit gamblinghelponline.org.au.